Hey, what's going on YouTube? Coach DT with Dynamic Training here to bring you episode 10 of Monday's Mindset. We are making our way all the way up John Wooden's Pyramid of Success, and today's building block is on the word condition. We're going to harp on this over and over again throughout this video, but when John Wooden talks about conditioning, he's talking about your mental conditioning, he's talking about your emotional conditioning, your spiritual conditioning, as well as your physical conditioning. How many of us know have players or teammates or know of athletes that are absolute freaks of nature, talented, should make it all the way to the top, but always, always stumble, always fall at the easiest things because their mentality is not strong, right? Their mindset is not conditioned. Their heart is not conditioned, right? They have a 40 inch vertical. They can run a 4 3 40. They can jump above the rim, but they can't stay mentally tough. They don't have that mental strength, mental focus. Conditioning is so much more than just physical. It's spiritual and it's mental. In Coach Wynn's book, he gives his players a few guidelines um, for general conditioning, okay? Number one, he talks about always outperform your opponent. Always be in better condition than your opponent. Now, conditioning, like we talked about, he's not talking about just having better stamina, being able to run up and down the court or being able to maintain your stamina or your endurance for longer. He's talking about being in a better mental state, right? Being in a better emotional state as well as being in a better physical state, okay? Number two that he talks about, he says, condition is attained and maintained not only on the court or in, on the field, but off the court and off the field. So now he's talking a little bit about your character, right? He's talking about who you are on the inside. He's saying that your conditioning is just as important off the field as it is on the field. And then thirdly, something that I always harp on all the time, Coach John Wooden says, force yourself when you're tired. He says, it's the hard work you do after you're all in that improves your conditioning, right? We talk about it. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. If you want to push yourself and, and uh, take yourself to new levels, you have to be willing to challenge yourself and to put your, push yourself to new levels. Um, if you're not being pushed, if you're not being challenged, if you're just continuing to do the same thing or staying comfortable, you're not going to take yourself to that next level. So the work that you put in after you say you've got nothing left, that's when we continue to grow and we continue to improve. I've got my greatness sweatshirt on today because John Wooden talks about greatness, right? He talks about success, about becoming the best, the greatest version of yourself. And he talks about how that uphill climb towards greatness is slow, right? It's consistent. It's methodical. You have to continue to chip away and to grow and to grow and to grow. But he also talks about the flip side. And he says that the downhill road is fast, okay? He talks about how trusting, trust, building trust can take years and years and years to develop, but can be lost in seconds, okay? So now we're talking a little bit more about off-the-field conditioning. He likes to say that ability will get you to the top, but it takes character to keep you there. All right, I'm gonna send you to Coach BT and he's gonna dive a little bit deeper into the character side of things and about what it takes to keep you at the top. Hello, Dynamic Training family and friends. Hope you had a great weekend. Are you ready for Monday's Mindset? Today's building block on the pyramid of success, your journey to greatness, is the word condition. And I wanna ask you a question. What condition is your condition in? Listen to what the great coach John Wooden has to say about that word. By condition, I mean physical, mental, moral, and spiritual fitness. In any of life's endeavors, not just athletics, rest, exercise, diet, and drills will only get you so far. Only when you live a wholesome lifestyle will you see the greatest results. Listen, you can't stay out all night and expect to perform like the champion that God created you to be. Don't follow the crowd unless you know where the crowd is going. A wholesome lifestyle, the proper rest, the proper recovery, the proper diet, the proper mindset, the proper heart, the proper spiritual conditioning is the key to your success. Listen to what Coach John Wooden goes on to say. I told my players about shared responsibility. As a coach, my responsibility was to run effective practices. Their responsibility occurred between practices. They understood that the lack of proper conduct, deficient rest, 
an improper diet would keep them from attaining and maintaining their best possible conditioning. A failure to address mental, moral, and spiritual conditioning will limit even the best physical conditioning. Listen to what the great coach Apostle Paul has to say. Physical exercise has some value, but spiritual exercise is much more important for it promises a reward. We love rewards. We love rewards. He says it promises a reward in both this life and in the life to come. The Apostle Paul goes on to say, I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense towards God and towards man. He walked in forgiveness. If you want to be a, a champion, you have to make sure you continue to walk in forgiveness. Don't harbor bitterness. It'll just stop you from becoming the great champion that God wants you to be. The word exercise means to actively train practice and struggle to give one's best even to the point of pain. I like to say it this way, his pain, your gain. His pain, your gain. For the athlete, physical conditioning is important. But coach got it right when he said that we won't be a success without mental, moral, or spiritual conditioning as well. It's important to be in the top condition in all of these areas when the coach calls, when God calls, when your mom and dad call. You need to be ready to respond. He goes on to say this, mental, moral, physical, rest, exercise, and diet must be considered. Moderation must be practiced. Listen, a wholesome lifestyle. A wholesome lifestyle, exercising your spirit, your mind, and your body if you want to walk in complete victory. That is the key.